Chris Sutton and Graham Souness has been going at it back and forth since the old firm because Chris Sutton, he couldn't hide his bitterness during the commentary of that old firm game. And it was a controversial decision, to say the least. But uh, regardless if you thought it was or you think it wasn't a penalty to Fabio Silva and all that good stuff, the big man, he just couldn't hide the bitterness. He was greeting and Graham Souness fired a shot at him on TalkSport. And do you agree with this? I'm not too sure whether or not I agree with this statement here for Sunus, but essentially to sum it up, he, he tried to say that Chris Sutton in the commentary box tried to influence VAR. Now, here, I am under no illusion that Chris Sutton is better and, you know, biased towards Celtic, as was pointed out by hundreds and thousands of like social media people reacting to the old firm, you know, it drew a lot of numbers. 1.44 million, I mean, that's the highest viewed game ever. So there was a lot of eyes outside of Scotland, a lot of neutral eyes on this game that don't really watch Scottish football all that often. And like pretty much like their main takeaway, one of their main takeaways for the game is that Chris Sutton is so biased and that he, he exceeds the levels of character and Neville in Eng England, and absolutely he does. And here, I'm not going to pretend, right, that Chris Boyd ain't biased, because I'm actually, because I'm no biased. I, I mean, yes, blue tinted specs may be worn on occasion, but I think we know in Scottish football, the punditry, it is a bit of a joke. A lot of people have called it out. Sut Boyd knows how to wind people up, so does Sutton. Um, I, think, I honestly think Neil Lennon, for punditry, is one of like the fairest people you will get. Um, and which is bizarre actually saying that. I've seen a lot of people agreeing with me, well not agreeing with me, but agreeing with that statement about Neil Lennon. Um, but I mean, for soon as to come out and say, he did say it was pathetic and all of a sudden. And does VAR actually listen to the commentary? I doubt it. You know, like, I know we joke and say, oh, they take forever on far, and they do, they do, they do, they do. They do. I mean, it's not even a joke, it's more of a matter of fact, but. I would be kind of shocked if they're sitting in the VAR box, fan, whatever, and they're like, well, what, what's Chris Sutton and Kenny Miller saying about this? You know, we don't have a, we don't have a fucking Scooby snack about what's going on here. So let's listen to Kenny Miller and Chris Sutton. No, of course they don't turn around and say that, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> and if they do, well, I think there's big, bigger fish to fry than what's going on. I mean, yeah, I think it's a bizarre claim from uh, Sunus, but here, I'll back Sunus, but... Again, I think he's right about Sutton being biased, but I think when he's coming out about that, I don't think they, I truthfully don't think they listen to that, that commentary or any other comedy, because I mean, co comedy, it feels like a comedy, because see if you just look at it right and break it down, how many games, right, in Scottish football are covered where, you know, it's like one-sided bias, if you know what I mean, where it'll be like a Celtic heavy panel, or it'll be a, a Rangers heavy panel. Now, to be fair to Sky, I think more often than not, you will get Chris Sutton and Chris Boyd at the games. But it's like, say it's Ian Crocker and Chris Sutton commentating a Celtic game, right? Ian Crocker can try and pretend that he's in the middle, but I think we all know he's a Celtic man. But, you know, during the old form, you've actually got two colour commentators in Sutton and Miller, so at least you could argue, well, there actually is like a 50-50 impartialness going on there. Now, if it's a full Celtic squad, or it's, you know, it's Kenny Miller and Ian Crocker, during Kenny Miller's, like, abdomen, adamant about the fact that it should be a penalty to Rangers, if they are listening to it, they're going to be like, well, everyone's just saying it's a penalty to Rangers. Then, flip the coin, if it's a Celtic one, everyone's adamant to it's a penalty to Celtic. It, it, things like that, where I think of, I mean, we think is are a total joke right now, as it is the 10th of April 2024. Could you imagine, though, if it came out, and they actually admit it that here we actually listen to snippets of commentary um, for making before making our final decision on these penalties and red cup. You'd be like, what? Like, it's it, no, it's it's baffling. It's honestly baffling. It's a baffling suggestion by Sus, but I agree with him up to that point. Sutton then fired back, turned around and said that you know it's utter nonsense that Graham Sinus is talking about. He says, well, is he going to be like God next week? <laughs> Another bizarre comment there for Chris Sutton. Um, he was also talking about the fact that there's just no way in hell he could ever see it as a penalty. He says he's looked at it and there's no way it is. Again, I'm going to disagree with Sutton because 
I don't even think it's a penalty, right? Well, should I, re should I change that rhetoric that I don't think it's a penalty? For me, it's not a penalty, but by the letter of the law, it's a penalty. And you can absolutely see why it's given. I think most days will admit, right, if that, if, you know, if that's Tavernier or Maida, right, or a Rangers channel here, would be raging, that's given, because it's like soft, he's going down. But by the letter of the law, it is a penalty. That's what my logic is, I'm not that biased. I can see where people think it's a penalty, and I can see where people are raging, but most people should be able to look at it and be like, well, you know what, it looks like Silva dived. But looking back at the contact, he's caught him on the knee. Silva theoretically throws himself to the ground, but it's still contact. Therefore, it's clear and obvious because butt beaten thought he dived. Reality is he went down easy from contact, so therefore it isn't. It is clear and obvious. I don't know why people can't see that. People have just got to take the bias off, right? And you know, admitting that something was apparently or not doesn't, you know, undo everything else in the game. Like it doesn't change the fact that Rangers were disgraceful in the first forty-five minutes. At that match, man, it was embarrassing. Like I, I'm actually, I was actually disgusted. Still am. You know, yeah, that some of the team fought back. There was a lot of substitutions that played a part in that. But I'm not going to sit here and happy clap that Rangers team after that first. It was fucking. It was pathetic. I can accept getting outplayed, but I mean, when you're getting destroyed in terms of effort and you know, like even like attention to detail, things like that, like you, you just notice the Celtic man. They were just to a T. They were smoking us in that first half. Apart from the goalkeeping department, because Jack Butland was keeping us in it. Joe Hart did make a good save at the end of it. So, again, two guys. Who do you think's in the right? Do you think it's Sunus? Do you think it's Sutton? For me, I just, I think Sunus is in the right, but I don't, I'm don't. i not going to agree with the whole, they're listening to Sutton in the VAR room. <laughs> because if they are, man, that is when we've got serious issues on our hands, and that is when the game is going to be, you know, the rule book. Far, Jesus Christ, man, that is when I would be calling for Far to be getting called out. Because could, could you imagine, though, like, you've got to flip it. If if Neil Lennon came out or Sutton himself came out and said, you've got to think that maybe VAR's listening to Chris Boyd's commentary and that's why they've overturned it, we'd all be saying, oh, he's tinfoil hat, it's always a conspiracy, those Masonic refs and all that good stuff. So, again... I can definitely, there's a fly in there trying to kill me there. Uh, I tried to kill it. But uh, that's where we're going to leave this video. Um, I don't know when I'm going to upload this video because there is a pitch inspection due in Dundee, of course, at half three. Or they made a video about the earlier one, so I'm not too sure when they'll upload this. Could just save it for tonight because I don't, I don't think the game's going to. I'm, I'm I mean, all we want as Rangers fans is for this game to go ahead and get it played and get it done with and go top of the league. But it's Dundee, man. It's a fucking mess for Dundee. I'm sick of... I'm actually sick of talking about their pitch. Their big, pishy mattress. Pish. Pitch. Shite. Jobby. Mince. Till then. Peace.